Shark attacks have been increasing. They've actually been increasing for the last 11 decades. My name is George Burgess. I, I serve as director of the Florida Program for Shark Research. When we enter the sea, uh, it's a wilderness experience. If you're paranoid about getting bitten, obviously stay outside of the water. Work on your suntan, drink a cold one on the beach, uh, enjoy the, the scenery. But uh, if you go in the water, you know that, uh, that, that there's, a, there's going to be some risk, and, and it's our duty to reduce that risk if we can. How do we do that reduction? Well, we, first of all, we can go out in groups. Uh, their safety in numbers is a reason why uh, fishes are in schools and antelopes are in herds. It's because there's uh, safety there. So go together as a group. Don't become isolated because carnivores, such as, uh, as sharks, go after after uh, the lonely uh, person. Don't go in the water between uh, dusk and dawn, time periods when uh, sharks are most active in feeding. Avoid certain areas where sharks are likely to be found. Uh, inlets, channels, if you see seabirds diving, if you see fishes jumping, if you see humans fishing off the shoreline, that means there's fish around. If there's fish, there's probably sharks. So just by doing those sort of common sense kind of things, we can reduce our risk. Uh, if you see a shark uh, while in the water, of course, the first thing to do is to get out if you can. And uh, that seems obvious to, to most people, but uh, surfers in particular, uh, who uh, swim a lot in the water and, and see sharks oftentimes uh, don't worry about it because they, they've been with them before. Uh, and then sometimes they get bit. So get out of the water if you see a shark.